Hey guys, hola, bienvenidos. If you're wondering how to get Copa America tickets, I'm gonna be telling you exactly what you need to do. So let's just jump right into it, guys. First thing you wanna do is just go on copamerica.com. That's where they're selling all the tickets. Some tickets are still available. The bigger games, like whatever game Brazil plays in, a lot of Argentina games, and the knockout stages might be sold out, but they do have another window opening up very very soon so stay tuned for that just jump on copamerica.com and you're gonna see exactly that now anybody can pretty much buy a ticket you just need to go on the website you sign up you create your free account it takes about five minutes and you have access to the portal you can buy a total of seven games so you can go to seven different matches and i believe you can buy no more than four tickets per match or something like that but i mean who, who needs that many tickets anyways if you need more just make another account your wife or somebody else whatever and just make another account and get your tickets that way now after you buy your tickets there's going to be two options at this point you can have the tickets delivered to your home but you know the tournament starts in a day so what you really want to do is just pick them up and spot now the five whole city each one has a pickup location they're open each and every day for extended hours i believe they're open from around 10 o'clock in the morning maybe 9 till 8 i know they close until 8 for sure anyways i suggest you go there early i got my tickets in the sao paulo pickup location i've got them five days before the tournament started and there was quite a good amount of people I had to wait about 20 minutes before i was able to to go and get my tickets now once you get there you're gonna need your passport you're also gonna need that when you purchase your tickets online that's how they kind of count that you're an actual person and then when you go pick up the tickets the passport needs to be matching names and the credit card so whatever card you use make sure that you bring it along with you so if you use your significant other's card and they're not gonna be there not a good idea now they might be able to work around it and let you slide as long as you can prove that whoever paid for it like the card is actually theirs and they're somehow related to you it'll all work out but it's not worth the risk so pay with your own card that is the best suggestion i can give you and then once you do that they will give you your tickets they'll print them out for you also when you go pick up your tickets it's gonna tell you in the instructions that you must print your voucher and by all means you should now i didn't print mine i completely forgot about that step and by the time i noticed when i was halfway there i didn't have the option to print it anywhere so i just showed up there however they're very very well prepared over here guys by that i mean that they kind of expected it already and they have a dedicated room with a computer where you simply can log in with your account and print from there or you can maybe save your voucher on a usb drive like i did i had it on a usb drive because i was actually looking for a place to print my voucher before arriving at the pickup location so i didn't find one however i was able to print my tickets there no problems no questions asked and it worked out the whole process took about 30 minutes like i said it's more than likely going to be even busier now and some people only come for like one game or something they quickly pick up their ticket there and and you know it's gonna be a lot more people the queue is gonna be a lot longer so you have been warned go early now i'm pretty sure you're gonna find people on the streets before the game selling the tickets however i strongly advise you don't do that you never know what you're gonna buy and the last thing you want to do is splurge a hundred or two or three hundred bucks on a ticket and end up with a counterfeit that's gonna piss you off i would definitely avoid doing that there's also third-party websites online selling the tickets at extremely high prices like i mean very very high prices for example a ticket is usually about i don't know let's say it's 50 bucks you're gonna find it for like 200 bucks on these websites so uh i don't recommend that unless you're just balling out of control 
and then there's always the fans that end up selling their ticket or they have an extra one so you can always show up at the stadium and you might find an actual fan that might have a spare and they're trying to sell it but at that point you're, you're gonna have to ask you know that that ticket is not gonna serve itself on a magic platter to you so you're gonna have to do a lot of talking a lot of asking like hey dude you have an extra ticket anybody got a spare and voila it should fix the problem anyways guys that's it for these Copa America tickets welcome to Brazil enjoy it awesome country awesome people awesome food and awesome football which is the main reason we came here for this Copa America I would love to hear what you guys think who do you think is gonna win the Copa America and why all right that's it guys catch you on the next one